positive impact. The first one being the past and the second one. Hi guys, welcome back to All Things Wholesome. This is a channel where we discuss all things nourishing mind, body, soul and mind. So today we'll be discussing um, healthy habits that you can incorporate in your everyday life. So without wasting your time, let's get to it. So we are living in a busy world where we are constantly trying to create wealth for ourselves. Um, it is easy to get caught up in this busy world and the neglect self-care, especially um, primary caregivers. Um, the primary caregivers being parents, healthcare workers, uh, first responders and so forth. They often put other people first before themselves. Ignoring our physical and emotional needs will sooner or later uh, prevent productivity in our lives. It is important to always take care of yourself first before offering a, a helping hand uh, to someone else. Um, therefore, always uh, serve from a full cup um, as it helps you share more and instead of operating on an empty cup which will leave you exhausted. I'll be discussing five easy things that you can incorporate in your everyday life um, in order for you to keep uh, healthy and productive so that you can serve more uh, effortlessly. Number one, uh, be physically active. You don't have to go to the gym in order for you to keep active. Doing simple movements such as walking for 15 minutes a day, uh, taking the stairs instead of using the elevator, cleaning and also dancing to your favorite song. Um, all these little movements can keep you active as long as you do it more often. So if you are a busy person, just take 15 minutes out of your time every day and do your favorite movement. Um, but we all know that the more effective way of keeping active is to go to the gym or do exercises. So if you have more time on your hands, just um, do exercises or just go to the gym for 30 minutes each and every day. Number two, you need to eat healthy food. So always include fruits and vegetables in your meal plans. Um, I'm not a firm believer of depriving yourself of the things you love eating because what that does, it creates an addict. So um, imagine if you love something and now you're depriving yourself of having that thing. The moment you get your hands on that thing, you might be become um, an addict. So always try to keep a balance, have a plan, have a diet plan or uh, plan your meals and just be disciplined enough to follow the plan so what I do personally what I try to do um, as I'm starting um, I try to eat healthy for five days which are Monday to Friday and then on weekends I can just have anything that I'm craving at that moment so what that does it, it creates a balance because I don't want to start off by depriving myself of everything that I love um, so I try to balance things out uh, so number three uh, you have to maintain a good personal hygiene so this includes mind body soul and your environment so you have to be able to keep your surroundings clean and also try to do um, internal purification if it's your mind, you have to get rid of negative thoughts and replace them with uh, positive ones. Um, take a bath, wash your clothes, and always try to keep a pure energy uh, by meditating. Um, and when it comes to environmental cleaning, um, don't look at cleaning as doing your chores. Just look at it as making your space holy and free from dirt. So I personally love cleaning, I enjoy cleaning, um, I find cleaning relaxing, so because um, I, I perform well in an organized clean environment, um, that's when I become more uh, creative and that's when I can think clean. So number 
goal is to learn a new skill uh, personal growth is important in one's life um, this helps you expand your horizon and also give you a sense of, of purpose in your life so um, you can sharpen new skills um, in line with your career or you can just uh, develop new skills that can help you in future so number five this is a challenging one um, i also struggle with this one so number five being uh, live in the moment so i also struggle with this um, it is difficult to live in the moment as we live in the fourth industrial revolution um, social media has definitely made it difficult for us to live in the moment as we are constantly taking pictures um, videos to post and we are always texting people that are not physically there and this also um, happens to um, goal orientated people they often worry about the future constantly thinking about um, their tomorrow uh, instead of enjoying the now so it's important to live in the moment as there are two things that are guaranteed in life the first one being the past and the second one being the present um, unfortunately we are not guaranteed the future uh, but we live by faith and we hope for a better tomorrow so I've been enjoying this moment but unfortunately it has to come to an end so this is the end of the video um, thank you for allowing me in your space and lending me your ear. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and just share the video. Um, always remember.